Hello graphic designers, in today's class we're going to continue working on this teacher reading project. In our last class we created the cutouts of yourself, created a logo, we even um, created PNG cutouts of our teachers as we can see in stage 3. Today we're going to be working on stage 4 in which we're going to be superimposing the cover of the text that they're reading in their hand. We're going to be creating the illusion that they're actually holding the book. We're going to be then saving this file as a PNG. Uh, first, however, we need to explore new, some new vocabulary, specifically opacity. And if uh, we look in the layers palette, right next to where it says normal, it says opacity, and it's at 100%. Uh, right now, I'm on the uh, Kinesa layer, and if I select this little arrow right here and drop down the opacity to 68, we can see through it. At 34%, we can see through him completely. At 11% he's virtually invisible. I'm going to bring it up to 100. And likewise for um, Miss Eisenberg, if we drop it down, we can see right through her. And I'm going to show you a quick shortcut. If you have the move tool selected, and we do right now, right, and then you simply press 6, it jumps to 60% opacity, 2, 20% opacity, 8, 80% opacity, and then 0, 100% opacity. We're going to be using and adjusting opacity today. Uh, right now, so let's start. So here we've got uh, Miss Eisenberg. She's reading What Happened by Hillary Clinton. And uh, I did a quick um, image search in Google. We're looking for just the cover, nothing else. So if you like, you'll notice that this image, for example, Hillary Clinton is included in the image. We don't want that at all. So we're going to select this image, right click. You're going to copy image. You're going to return to Photoshop. You're going to press Command V. Amazing. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, because the move tool is selected, I'm going to press 5 for 50%. And then we're going to distort this image. To do that, we're going to click Edit, Transform, and Distort. When I say distort, what do I mean? Well, we can sort of stretch this image out over uh, the exact cover of the book. And I'm lining up corner to corner. In fact, I'm going to fudge it a little bit. And I'm going to go over the spine just because I think it's going to make it look a little bit better right there. And uh, I think that looks great. I'm going to press check to confirm. I'm going to press 0 for 100%. And that looks pretty cool, except there are her fingers there. So I'm going to press 5. And if I then press E for the eraser tool, oops, if I press E for the eraser tool, I can sort of erase out her fingers, right? Uh, but does this look professional when I press 0? Let's press V, 0. Does that look professional? Not really. So what we're going to do. I'm going to undo what we just did a second ago. Return to 50%. I'm going to jump to the layer 0 I'm on Miss, the, uh, Miss Eisenberg's layer. I'm going to right click um, the selection tool and pull up the magnetic lasso. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to go along like so. Boom, 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 boom. And I made a mistake, so I'm going to press delete to go back. There we go. And stick into that T, and that's okay. We can fix that later. All right. So I'm going to like this. I'm doing an okay job. You're going to do a much better job. We're going to get this right here. All right. Let's get this. And then we know that we can subtract. So what I'm going to do is we can subtract and add. So Let's use the polygonal lasso, and I'm going to add a selection right here. We know what the polygonal creates a straight angle, and I'm going to like this. And of course, can't forget this. All right. And so now, what we're going to do now, it looks like we got a pretty good selection. I'm going to press delete. Oh, I'm not going to press delete because this is what happened. If I press delete now, actually, boom, I deleted her hands. We don't want to do that. That's weird. Instead, what we're going to do is I'm going to click to layer 1. I'm going to boost up the opacity to 100%. And now I'm going to press delete. What? There we go. Command D. And wow, that looks pretty realistic. I'm actually impressed. Uh, let's do that one more time very quickly. So I'm going to return to uh, Google Image Search. We're going to find this image. Um, featuring the power broker. I'm going to return to Photoshop. We got Mr. Maslow right here. I know that he's reading it. I'm going to press Command V. I'm going to zoom in some. We're going to click um, Edit Transform Distort. We're going to grab the corners like so. We could drop the opacity, I think, right now, however, we're okay. And we're going to go like this. And we're just going to sort of guess right there. 
and I'm going to press check. We're going to click right here. Actually, let's drop the opacity. Uh, let's select, we'll just do the polygon lasso. And not amazing. Book cover, delete. Boom. Not bad, right? And what I'm going to suggest that you guys do is that if you don't have, if you see the back of the cover and you don't have access to the back of the cover, like you can't find an, um, an example of it online, simply put the cover on the back as well. And we'll go like so. All right, that looks good. You're going to have to experiment. You guys are artists. You're going to figure something out. And then for the spine, um, what you can do is, you know what we'll do? Polygon lasso, new layer. I'm just gonna do like like so. I'm gonna use I'm gonna select red. And actually, there's something called the eyedropper tool. I'll explain that to you guys later. Um, paint bucket, boom. That looks pretty good right there. I'm gonna press V5 actually, V5, and then we're gonna use the magnetic lasso. And I'm going to go like so, boom, 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 delete, command D, that looks pretty good right there, and then for this, whatever. Alright, so now all of a sudden, it looks like my man Mr. Maslow is holding this text, cannot wait to see your work, you're going to make sure that you sign up on the spreadsheet, um, and when you're done, you're going to simply write your name and then done and column D indicating that it's completed and submitted. Alright ladies and gentlemen, I look forward to seeing your work.